Welcome back everyone. In the previous video, we have created the unit of work here in the re repositories project. Right now, we will move a, a new step a little bit higher. We will start with creating the services or basically more specifically the business services. We will create a new project here in the server and what we are going to do also is we'll, we will create a shared project that's going to be shared between the client and the uh, server. This shared project will contain three types of models. First, uh, the generic responses, which, which is basically uh, the response that will wrap the object that's going to be received from, received from the server back to the client or sent from the server to the client. And we will contain the DTO, basically the data transfer objects. And uh, the object that's going to be created, basically to create new things on the server, uh, for example, uh, creating a new user profile, sometimes we need minimum information, so we'll create something called user profile requests and something like this. So we will start and discover, uh, learn more about this. First, let me create the services project here within the server. I will right click on the folder, click add new project, and I will choose here, okay, a class library.net standard, click next, and here I will call it tickets basket dot services like that okay great now the first step let me get rid of this uh, initial class okay nice now I'll click right click on the dependencies add the project reference and I will add the models and the repositories okay great another thing that I want to do as I've said I'll click on the solution click new project a new project and again .NET standard I will call it tickets basket dot uh, shared nice so this shared project will be referenced within the services and within uh, the client project so right now this one I will create three folders here I will call the first one responses Another folder I'll call it requests. And the third one will be called uh, I, I, I can I can call it DTOs or the data transfer objects, but okay, let me call it models, which is makes more sense. Okay. But those are the shared models. Nice. So I will go back to the services here and I will create the first service which is basically the user profile services. Okay, let me create, choose an interface and I would call it I user profiles service like this. Great, let me mark it as public. And right now let's create the implementation. Public class user profiles service. And it's going to implement this one just like this. Okay. Basically, what this server is going to do is three main functions. The first one is to retrieve the user profile detail based on the current logged in user to make sure that he has an account or no. If not, so then we will uh, let him create a new one. Or if yes, he has an account, so then we will store this data and move with the system based on that. This is the first step. Another function is going to be create a new user profile and the third one is going to be edit an existing one those are the three functions will be exposed by the user profile service and those services will be injected directly in the controllers so those ones somehow on the front line so of course we won't use the models here or our business models to be retrieved and sent from and back to the client. So for this reason, we will create something here, uh, some set of data transfer objects. So before I create the first data transfer object for the user profile, let me create the responses and I will create the first generic response. This response is going to be a generic object to not, for example, if I want to retrieve the current user profile based on the logged in user, I don't want to retrieve the user profile object exactly as it is. I want to wrap it with some response like contains a message, contains, for example, 
uh, the number of items retrieved if there is multiple items for example when you will retrieve the events and uh, contains some additional data if needed for this reason I'll create the first one I'll call it operation response okay you can call it whatever you want I would prefer to call this one operation response let's click add and here first let me mark this public and it's going to be generic so I'll define the type here call it T and this one will contains for now two properties message and the record itself we will use this response whenever we create edit or retrieve one item or one record and when we want to retrieve lists or collections we will create a new response for that but for now this is enough and okay so maybe we can uh, send back to the user a list of errors if required but I think for now uh, this message is enough and this uh, the item that's going to be retrieved back to the client okay great so right now here the next step I'm going to do is to create data transfer object for the user profile this object will contain the ID of the profile in our system the first name last name email country city and the user ID of the logged in user which will be referring the user in the Azure Active Directory B2C will contain this one as organizer and also will contain the created date and that's it or basically we won't retrieve the created date what we will retrieve or the creation date we will retrieve uh, like a time span which is the difference like this profile created 10 minutes ago one hour ago one year ago we will follow this pattern which will more make things more easier for us okay so let's create this model here I'll click class create new class I will call it user profile uh, detail I'll call it the user profile detail okay and here it's going to contain ID string first name string last name email string okay what do we have here country city user ID is organizer okay we have country okay maybe I can copy this okay user ID organizer ah sorry okay let me remove this one as organizer and here I will create a new property which is of type string I will call it created sense and it will contain like this one created one minute ago two minutes ago one hour ago we'll see how we'll implement this okay what also we have is um, I will create a read-only property here will be called full name it's going to be read only so just get it will contain the value of the first name and the last name so because we will use it so much so in this case we don't need to every time concatenate them like this so just like this this is going to be the data transfer object and as you can see or if you are asking again why you are using this instead of this one while in this case the properties are the same okay in this case right now the properties are the same maybe we will add some more properties but there is some properties here like I don't want all the lists to be retrieved while I'm retrieving uh, this one also sometimes you have in when you are building real uh, project sometimes you have um, many properties related to the security related to the date of the modification uh, the user that modified this one for example so yeah sometimes you have multiple property that only for the system only for the server and 
maybe only for the admins. So uh, creating this one, in this case, you will have object, which is actually contains all the property that the client needs to show or to send to the server. So this is our first data transfer object, which will wrap all the information related to the user profile detail. But I think we have missed something here, which is the profile picture. We could have the profile picture on the level of Azure B2C, and we can have it on the level of our database. But I prefer to do it here because if we are going to put it on the level of Azure B2C, we have to manage and to make some calls to the Microsoft graph and like doing some stuff additional and outside of the scope of this course. So for this reason, if I put it here, maybe it's going to be a little bit better because we're still managing all the user profile from one place. We are using Azure Active Directory only for the authentication. So let me add it here. I will add string profile picture. It's going to be the URL basically. You will see how we will upload this profile picture using the Azure, uh, or we will store this picture using the Azure storage, blob storage. It's not going to be required. String length, okay, 256, just like this. Okay, let me update the database right now. I will call add migration, add user profile picture. Great. Okay, now I'm calling the update database. Cool. So right now we have this user profile. Let's add it to the DTO here. Okay, uh, here after the name, I will add this profile picture. As I've said, it's going to contain the URL. So that's it. That's a great. Uh, here we have created this DTO and right now I will just define the function and then we will start implementing it from the next video. So this function is going to return task. Let's add this one. Operation response. Okay, we should add reference to the tickets basket dot shared. Now I have this operation response and as you remember, it's going to be generic. So we're going to retrieve within it user profile detail. Just like this. Let's add the namespace tickets basket dot shared dot model. That's it. Now I will call it get profile by user ID async. Okay. I'm not going to pass the user ID here because I'm going to fetch it in a specific way. We will implement it also in the next video. And we will see how we can, let's say, move the identity information like the logged in user. And then we will discover how to send the current time zone and all this stuff from the controllers and the ASP.NET project back here to the services. So I can use it directly from all my services. So it's not going, as I've said, to receive any parameters. And here, let's define the implementation. Task operation response, user profile detail, and get profile uh, profile by user ID async. Okay, for now, let's do it like this through new, not implemented exception and we will implement all of this in the next video. Uh, in addition to, as I've said, uh, see the way how we can send the identity information from the controllers back here to the business services. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the services, about the data transfer object you have created, about the shared project, you can directly send or post your questions in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.